Hey guys and welcome back to another one and today to take a quick look at the latest mini computer from Minix. Now this is the Minix Z83-4U and U stands for Ubuntu. Now for those of you that are wondering, hey Robert, is that name familiar? Yes it is, we have seen the Z83-4 uh, Windows Home Edition and then later on we have seen also the Z83-4 Pro which was the Windows 10 Pro Edition and a slightly better uh, processor and this one right over here has the same processor as the Windows 10 Pro version and a slight improved, which we will see in just a few moments. Now, starting with the unboxing experience, once we open this package, we will find a quick user guide, the Minix Z83-4U, also a external antenna, HDMI cable, the power adapter with the most common uh, socks, and the visa mount so that we can mount the Z83-4U on the back of a monitor as we have seen in the past. Now guys, one of the things that they all have in common is in terms of build quality, they still have this really nice plastic and in terms of connectivity, they share the same connectivity as well. So if we look here on the right hand side, we'll find three USB 2.0 ports, one USB 3.0 port, one micro SD card and a power button. On the left hand side, we'll have the external antenna right over here and a Kessington lock. And then at the back, we will have the headphone jack, a mini display port, HDMI 1.4, a gigabit ethernet and a power input jack. Now moving to the hardware, what we will find here is basically almost the same configuration as as the Z83-4 Pro. In terms of the CPU, it's the same as the X5Z8350. In terms of storage, this one has double of the capacity. Instead of 32, it has 64 gigabytes of RAM. It has four gigabytes of uh, DDR3 RAM. And the biggest change, in my opinion, of course, besides having the double capacity of the previous model, is on the operating system. Now, I must say that in the past we could, if we wanted to, install any Linux on the Windows version. And I guess that, and of course, we will be able to install Windows if we want to on this Ubuntu version. But in my opinion, we have right over here in terms of Minix offer, three different flavors for everyone with different prices as well. I will leave a link down below. So this is something to consider if someone is looking for a mini PC with Ubuntu, for example, and doesn't want to install anything, then this is probably a great solution. Now, in terms of the operating system itself, for those of you that are not used to Linux, and I'm one of those because my main operating systems are Windows and Mac OS. I do play occasionally with uh, Linux because I'm curious and I like to play around with uh, devices and we can do a lot of stuff in Linux. So my suggestion is that at the beginning, uh, we will have a learning curve, especially if we want to install apps. Now, Linux, Ubuntu and other versions of Linux are getting friendlier and friendlier and they are very easy to install apps. They even have a similar thing to the App Store, but we will not find all the apps that we want. And for example, I wanted to install Kodi, which I wanted to test that out. And as you guys can see by some images on screen, one of the things that we can do is at the beginning, if we don't know the command lines and so on and so forth, we just need to search around for the software that we want. And once we are there and we try to download for Linux, what we will find is instructions, very clear instructions on any software, not just Kodi, so that we can have the software that we love on the machine that we have. So I believe that for anyone that loves technology and grabs uh, their hand on this computer with Linux, it's just a matter of learning and getting used to a new operating system. Now, if that's your game or not, then this is something that you will have to decide. As always, if you ask me, hey Robert, what about performance? Performance is exactly the same as we find on the Z83-4. Pro, uh, we will be able to use it as an office machine. We will be able to do a lot of stuff as a server device, 24 seven connected. And of course, if you want to use it for multimedia playback, for gaming and so on and so forth, then we will be able to do everything that we have done with the Z83-4 Pro with no issues at all. So in my opinion, I love technology. So it's great to see another version of this computer. In this particular case, changing the operating system coming from Minix. So this is my opinion, guys. Hopefully this video is helpful in some way. And if it is, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.